Uh, you, you talk about family. One of the questions here is work, family, life balance. How did you manage? I mean, you've got, you've got eight, eight kids. You've got seven, seven eight grandchildren? No, no, 22. 22, sorry. <laughs> Does that change your life? No, it's not. I was finished. Okay. Well, we'll make any point on that. But I mean, how did you balance that? Because I mean, well, I did, I did that very poorly. How I balance it was I married the right girl. I'm tell you, I was stuck, I was made up. Well, my mother got into me, I'll tell you this quickly. When I was a kid, serving in that fruit shop, 16, 17, I was fascinated by girls. And I bet there's plenty of other guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were God's greatest invention. <laughs> <laughs> we, had a, we had a shop that had all the brokers down the main body of the shop. In the back we had a soda fountain, a milk bar, what have you. And all the young girls that worked in the offices around us would come in or a milkshake or an ice cream or a chocolate or something. And I used to buzz them around in the soda fountain and serve the girls. I'd leave the dear old ladies who'd come in for their weekly water. And it was the bread and butter for the business. And, that, and Mum got me outside one day and she gave me a real lecture about this. I said, oh, come on, Mum. Those girls are spending money, they're customers, and they're more fun. And I'll tell you right now, so I'll never forget this. My mother was my mentor all the way of growing up. She said, never let yourself fall for a pretty face. She said, don't ever go by appearance or what you think might be sex appeal. That's rubbish. She said, you ask yourself this question before you get keen on a girl and start to go steady. Has she got the qualities you'd want to see in the mother of your children? I said, gee, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> she said, no boy ever is. Just keep that in your mind, son. And of course, she got into my head. And I said, when I met you, I've got the right one. Yeah. Uh, she was attracted to, by the way. So. <laughs> <laughs> really try, but I was able to go to work first thing in the morning, work all day, come home late. The place was always spot on. Kids were waiting for me for tea if I could get home in time, otherwise I'd get home after it. But all was good. She, she understood what I was doing. And now I've got to start putting back now. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Try and get a bit of balance in my life. Yeah. And now that we've floated, um, in the public arena, I've got more time, and I'm starting to do that. Yeah.